How are you feeling, Sergeant? Still here, Cap. Do we have any morphine? A film featuring local actor Evan Riley Brown is set to hit the airwaves next month. The movie is called Journey to Royal, and it's a true story based on 22-year-old Lieutenant Royal Stratton, a World War II rescue pilot with the 4th Emergency Rescue Squadron. They flew over 800 rescue missions and saved the lives of 576 men, I believe. And they did it all without carrying ammunition because in the planes that they were flying, the uh, machine guns had been removed so that they could make space for the people that they would be rescuing and bringing aboard. No one's a fan of war, but that's why I love this because it, it didn't show the, the, the guns, but it did show the bravery and the courage to put someone else before you to save them. And that's why I really love that. And that, it was just the heart of the film, I guess. An impressive 1,500 actors submitted for the 18 roles available and casting for Staff Sergeant Edwin Alden Weaver. She says it was almost instantaneous in choosing Evan Riley Brown. There is um, a strength to his appearance, but there's such a soulfulness to his character that it just permeated the room when he came in. And then when he, he read the, for the part, we, we knew that he was the only guy that could that could take it. I don't ever want to, um, you know, dishonor you know, these men. So I, I try to do as much back research as I can as possible. And, and you know, and just really try to honor these men that uh, that actually went through that. Like for me, I, I was eating snacks on set, getting sprayed with a hose. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't that bad. I got to go home at the end of the day. The movie is a hybrid, part documentary and part feature film. The majority of the film is interviews with the surviving members of the squadron contributing their stories uh, in the way that we were asking them to was an extended part of their military service, meaning they, they all just stepped right up as if it were their duty and responsibility to make sure that this history was archived for future generations. Creating the movie was 10 years in the making and Brown was on set for two months in California. We shot at the Marchfield Air Museum on Three Feathers, which is a B-29 that's on exhibit there. So we were actually in vintage Warbird. I remember in grade five, I, I actually made a, a model of a B-29. And then ne next day, I'm, I'm on set. Unfortunately, COVID-19 has canceled their live premiere, but Brown says he will be enjoying the movie with family and friends here in Kelowna. For those interested, they could purchase the movie on DVD, Blu-ray, or video on demand starting on February 2nd. Sarita Patel, Casanet News, Kelowna.